serves as a judicial conduit uh, to the city. I'm not sure who the city is. Um, I, as an elected official and as a member of the Neighborhood Revitalization Commission, I all of a sudden think, oh my gosh, I think I am the city, <laughs> uh, <laughs> to some extent. Uh, but basically, we have worked um, for about 18 months uh, creating a, an action plan that we've been moving forward with. And this simply is another way to give you a voice that city officials actually will listen to, elected officials as well as city staff. Um, and I think the exciting part about each of the neighborhoods is that there's more than one council person in each of those neighborhoods, which means that you're going to have a couple of council people as well as a representative to the Neighborhood Revitalization Commission. So it gives us a pretty strong and loud voice. And I have to say that um, the current mayor has made neighborhoods such an important priority that this is a really exciting time to be working on the Neighborhood Revitalization Commission and, and creating neighborhood organizations. Um, I think you some may know that he's created what he has referred to as the Neighborhood Services Team, and um, he's really dedicated to improving situations in, in neighborhoods. And so the Neighborhood Revitalization Commission has taken upon itself, as it were, to create um, kind of the grassroots organization that will meet the mayor's services team, and we can all work together in order to improve um, the neighborhoods that we all live in. So the Neighborhood Revitalization Commission is separate from the, the Neighborhood Association. I know sometimes as we were going around delivering those postcards, um, some of us did get those kinds of questions. So we do want to clarify that. Um, what the Neighborhood Revitalization was able to do so far in support of our Neighborhood Association is print those postcards. 